welcome to Vase World. Today we are going to talk about pollution, and primarily ocean pollution. So, how does trash get into the ocean? Well, here are some facts you need to know. It's dumped, pumped, spilled, leaked, and even washed out with our laundry. Each year, we expose the world's waterways to a swelling variety of pollutants. Plastic debris, chemical runoff, crude oil, and more. Fortunately, it's not too late to clean up our act. Share the dirty truth about ocean pollution and help make a difference. Oil spills aren't the major problem. Front page seasoning oil spills account for just 12% of the oil in our oceans. Two to three times as much oil is carried out to sea via runoff from our roads, rivers, and drain pipes. More plastic than fish, up to 12 million metric tons. That's how much plastic we dump into the oceans each year. That's about 26 billion pounds, or the equivalent of more than 100,000 blue whales, every single year. By 2050, ocean plastic will outweigh all of the ocean's fish. Garbage patches. There's so much rubbish at sea, the debris has shaped giant garbage patches. There are five of them around the world, and the largest, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch includes an estimated 1.8 trillion pieces of trash and covers an area twice the size of Texas. Plastic poses a double danger. Ocean plastic can be broken into smaller pieces, known as microplastics, by sun exposure and wave action, after which it can find its way into the food chain. As unsightly as ocean pollution is, what we can't see may be worse. Scientists estimate that some 14 million metric tons of ocean garbage actually rest on the seafloor, meaning we're unlikely to ever be able to clean it up. Even nutrients can be harmful when dumped at sea in large amounts. Archaeological nutrients such as nitrogen can stimulate the explosive growth of algae. When the algae decompose, oxygen in the surrounding waters is consumed creating a vast dead zone that can result in mass die-offs of fish and other marine life. The number of dead zones is growing. In 2004, scientists counted 146 hypoxic zones, area of such low oxygen concentration that animal life suffocates and dies. By 2008, that number jumped to more than 400 in 2017. In the Gulf of Mexico, oceanographers detected a dead zone nearly the size of New Jersey, the largest dead zone ever measured at the time. The oceans are losing muscle mass. One effect of greenhouse emissions is increased ocean acidification, which makes it more difficult for bribles such as mussels, clams, and oysters to form shells, decreasing their likelihood of survival upsetting the food chain and impacting the multi-billion dollar shellfish industry. Big problems require big solutions. In 2013, Dutch inventor Boyan Slat founded the ocean's cleanup at the age of 18 in his hometown of Delft, Netherlands. The ocean cleanups team consists of 120 engineers, researchers, scientists, computational modelers, and supporting roles, working daily to rid the world's oceans of plastic. Once there was a Stone Age, a Bronze Age, and now we are in the middle of the Plastic Age. Because every year we produce about 300 million tons of plastic, and a fraction of that enters rivers, waterways, and eventually the oceans. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enters the oceans primarily from rivers, and the plastic that's afloat within the oceans isn't going away by itself. To effectively solve the problem, we need to both turn off the tap, haul the trash from rivers, and mop the floor. Remove legacy plastic from the oceans all at the same time. The Ocean Cleanup, a nonprofit organization, is developing a scaling technology to get rid of the world's oceans of plastic. You, the viewer, can help by your support in their work to protect nature for the benefit of us all. Thanks for watching Bay's World. Please like and subscribe. The largest one of these accumulations is the, uh, the infamous Great Pacific Garbage Patch, which is the one halfway between Hawaii and California. And here's a graph showing the concentration of plastic in that Great Pacific Garbage Patch, going from, say, the 1950s, 1960s on the left, 
all the way to very recently. And I think this is the one image that shows what it's all about. It's getting worse fast.